is up guys, Major Magpie here and welcome back to another Spin Tears mod. This is part two as we take a look around our tier hall map. Uh, and here we have our second vehicle. This is a man 4x4. Originally designed for the German military uh, for transporting troops and materials. This particular variant would have big, uh, a healthy V8, pushing about 256 brake horsepower, which wasn't bad for its time. This thing would have rolled off the production line firstly in 1976. Uh, so 256 brake horsepower back then, a bad outgoing. Uh, there was three different variants of this particular vehicle. There was this one, the 4x4, there was the 6x6, and the 8x8. Eight eight. So if we just go ahead and start this little beast. I love pollution. I love it. That's a cunning little motor. Looks quite lightweight. Uh, I was thinking guys on this one. We are here. You. <laughs> I was thinking we could head back up to the garage see which add-ons we can get for this particular vehicle and then follow this little dirt track down down the side of the river maybe just uncloak this point here and head up to this point possibly uh, or no actually scratch it head to this cloaking point here uncloak that and then head for some fuel because well we're pretty low on fuel Hopefully, with a little bit of luck, we might just be able to make it. But, let's go ahead and crack on then. And break off. Let's see how this does without its diff lock and, and all you drive. Let's avoid these tracks. It's quite a nimble little gaggle. Wait, it's a little. It doesn't even need the diff lock in the all-wheel drive, look at it. <laughs> That's doing alright. We do have the in-cab view. Which isn't bad. Very um, minimalistic, which is what it would have been. Especially since it was designed for the German military. Um, I'm just gonna check the map. Ah, well, we're heading the wrong way straight away. Hmm. It's got quite a good turn to it as well. <laughs> Compared to that big Kamaz beast that we drove in the last episode, this lacks a lot of power. But because of the power to weight ratio, it weighs a hell of a lot less and it still seems to shift. It still seems to, you know, eat up this this land. It isn't half bad. I'm just gonna veer off to the left here now. Because obviously we know the bridge is out further up and I don't wanna risk rolling over. Yeah. This is this shows absolutely zero signs of getting stuck. <laughs> Still an old P. Yeah, the fact that this was only designed for carrying uh, small materials and troops suggests to me that. Any add-ons or in installments that we do get are probably mainly going to be like flatbed related, so small logs, uh, stuff like that. I don't know if there's going to be anything extravagant, you know, like cement mixer or <laughs> anything like that. Ah, 
Ah, this is uh, devouring fuel. So we kind of need to get there. Get that one destination as quick as possible, I think. Because for a light little vehicle, it is thirsty. It does shift this little thing, so it's quite nimble. Oh, it's not hanging around. Oh. I'm not crashing again. Sorry, mister. <laughs> Look at this thing go. And trail trucks eat your heart out. That we went on the last episode. Right, so we need, we're all the way up here now, we need to head uh, stay on the road we're on, follow it round onto that hill and up to the garage. Hopefully, this road here will not be too steep. Well, I'm kind of thinking it might be. So whether this will make it up there, I'm not sure. It kind of lacks weight, so whilst it's got quite a bit of grunt for the size of it, going uphill, it might not get enough traction. Mm, let's head across here. Oh, oh, oh. Might have been a bad idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty deep. It's still going though, it's still chugging along. Uh, I think this is going to take some defeating. I'm going to stop this. It's, uh, it's quite reluctant to stand still. Which is good. Let me hit this hill though. Oh, just lost all of our momentum thanks to that sticking out rock. It was very low. This is getting up here, it is. On the large part, pretty drama free. Come on, last up a bit. Come on. Yes, we're there. So bridge. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> Let's have a look and see what garage points we can get for this and we'll pop sideways. If there's any trailers to try out. I suspect there'll be nothing other than the original. You never know. Right, there we go. What we got then? We've got the Man 44 carriage. Yeah, as I suspected, it's just a flatbed fuel tank, which is the smallest little thing I've ever seen. I'm going to put that on. I'm not. I'm going to put the roll cage. I'm going to try the roll cage. <laughs> it's just more of a scaffolding. Let's have a look at that. That gives us an extra 200 repair points. That often. Trailer. Let's have a look at that then. Nothing that. <laughs> cool. And then the remaining stuff is just the original tractor by the looks of it. It's the normal garage and the normal utility. Yep. Uh, that is all. Tires, we've got heavy duty. Uh, we've got trail truck. Which is probably the ones we're going to go for. I'm going to leave them on. Uh, we can deal with some dirt diggers, basically. And uh, let's go with the 
Hmm. Over there. Got courage, got fuel tank. I'm gonna put the roll cage on. I'm gonna go with the trail bed like that. Look at that. Hey, hey. lights. <laughs> That is quite awesome. Right, let's decide how we're going now then. I'm going to follow this road down here, past the D535. Uh, follow it down, uncloak this point here, if we possibly can, as long as the road's heading in the right direction. Uh, then we somehow need to get across and onto this track here. Or this track, whichever. Probably this track, I think, looks like it goes around to our fuel depot. Head on round there and get ourselves some fuel, so... Ah, it's got a lot more weight about it now. But it does feel more sturdier, more rigid. It still shifts. Oh! oh. Pretty sexy truck, that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue, then we'll get to our fuel level. Get some fuel. I mean, we do have more than half a tank now, so I mean, there's nothing to say we have to go that direction. But I'm actually gonna because I've made my mind up, and that's which way I want to head. So. Try and get that cloaking point on the way if possible. I suggest it's wrong. I think it's wrong here somewhere. Ah, uh, we're actually heading in the wrong direction. I'm probably going to miss both cloaking points. I think. Yeah, it's looking that way. Not to worry. I still want to head for the fuel depot. And just so we have a track to it, and I kind of know where I will go. In. There is two fuel depots on this map, so this will be one of them. I think we did the. Yeah, we actually went to the, the other fuel depot on the last episode. Uh -huh. uh, no, I'm not going to head down there just yet. Just keep on this road. That road go then. Hmm. That road looks like I might head to the field that road. No, actually, I'm gonna. The road that we want to be on is literally across them fields, and it looks like there's loads of trees. Where well, there is, but they're just small trees. But I think I might try and conquer that. Let's do it. I think we should go for it. Oh, lost the camera. Oh, look at this. Just be gentle with her. Don't want to damage her. This is a little trooper, this thing.
There's no one gonna be stopped easy this time. Oh, there's another yeah, go. And that is gonna be the next episode, guys. That is a trial stroke. Let's just quickly jump across and see what this thing needs. If anything. It needs just fuel. Just cool. Uh, oh, actually, the field that yeah, the field that was just up the road. So what we could do is tow it. Let's get in front of it and we can winch up and tow it to the field that was. Right. So, wow! Look at the size of that. <laughs> right. Let's go ahead and winch up to you. Hopefully we'll have enough grunt in this beast to be able to tow it. Yep, let's give it a go then. Oh, there it is, it's doing it! It's doing it, and it's going. Come on, don't get stuck now. Come on, you can do it! I'm gonna stop yeah and get some fuel. Cool. It's us full on fuel. Now let's drag this beast in. Come on. This little man thing's done itself proud. Look at that. Come on. You nearly there. beast. Well guys, now that we've got that in the fuel ring, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave this episode here, and we can pick up the next episode in that beast, over there. <laughs> yeah, this little man's done alright, for something with a, me with a measly, you know, V8 engine, pushing 256 brake horse over. It's got quite a bit of grunt, this thing. Uh, it certainly proved itself a little bit there, like. Anyways, guys, until the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.